if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is May the 20th, 2022, and today the topic is the Fountain of Living Water. I hope that you all had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Today is Friday, so y'all know that a new episode of God, Sex, and Love, the talk show, will be coming out tonight at 7 <laughs> at 7 p.m. Um, it will be a chat with Mr. Alan Taylor. Yes, a chat with Mr. Alan Taylor, an uh, awesome author who has a unique story. So, by all means, check that out tonight. Um, yeah, man, what, what happened yesterday? Well, uh, not too, too, too much. Um, didn't work with my acting student I thought I was going to be doing that and so I spent most of the day either trying to rest or you know doing my little thing or whatnot um to prepare for that but um we go to reschedule so um yeah so aside from that I mean you know husband's mom being a mom uh what oh I was working I was working on the gentleman's book I'm like what else I was doing something else um but yeah I was working on the gentleman's book a little bit um that's pretty much it <laughs> um yeah yeah that's pretty much it um <laughs> uh, you know but yeah man um uh, i guess not too much to report there y'all um but yeah so woke up this morning um uh, at the time of my alarm made sure i was up everything like that um, did my prayer meditation, found myself being distracted during the prayer meditation. I think there was <laughs> something along the lines of a pond and like meeting God at the pond. Or so I, I don't know exactly like what all it was doing. <laughs> um, but when it finished, the phrase still waters came into my mind and, um, after that, I thought about, I think it was, I think I thought about living water. Um, so I started looking up verses that surround both of those, but then I realized that, well, not, not both of those. When the second thing came into my mind, I realized that water was the um, common denominator <laughs> between the two thoughts. And so um, I looked up verses that surround water. I also looked up the definition of water. And here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Um, the definition of water says a colorless, transparent, odorless liquid that forms the seas, lakes, and rain and is the basis of the fluids of living organisms. Um, the interesting thing was, as I started to write down this definition this morning, I was like, I understand that scientifically something else is going on or whatnot. So I'm not saying that this definition is wrong. Um, but I just was thinking that it was very interesting that like, you know, we do see different colors of water, right? Um, you know, at least I can say I've seen photos of, of water being different colors um, and whatnot. Um, now, obviously, I believe it's probably like a re reflection or... Maybe the organisms that's in the water that's making the water look a certain way, things like that. Um, but that can't, that crossed my mind this morning as I was writing down this definition. Also, um, the fact that it said odorless, because I mean, you know, those of us <laughs> that um, were from my hometown, we're all familiar with Indian Springs. And um, they have water down there that smells just like flatulence. <laughs> the nice word you know what I mean um but obviously it's very healthy with all these minerals and whatnot people go down um uh, to 
just gather the water, um, you know, and, and whatnot. You know, our family would go <laughs> and whatnot as well. So, um, so again, I just found it interesting in this definition. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying that I've smelled water <laughs> and I've smelled, I mean, I've seen different colors of water, but again, it, I'm sure it has more so to do with the elements in or around or whatever the case is, the water and not the water itself. Um, but I don't know. We can all go deeper with that. That's just some random, <laughs> uh, random um, observation about water or whatnot. But regardless, right, um, it says here it makes up, the, you know, uh, well, I would say the majority of the earth, right? Um, we say that the majority of the earth is water. And then and it makes up the majority of us too, right? Um, I guess that's why we're supposed to be drinking <laughs> water, you know, y'all saw that big old bottle that I'm, I'm falling, I'm falling, um, I'm slacking off on this whole thing when it comes to working out and drinking my water and all this stuff, but anyway, um, obviously we're supposed to be taking in a lot of water, <laughs> but, um, yeah, those, those are the things I found interesting this morning as I was looking at the definition, um, as I started to write down verses, uh, this first verse that I'm going to share kind of stood out to me in a beautiful way. Um, so I ended up writing that one down first. And then from there, uh, I felt led to write down the verses that I wrote down after I read that one. Um, so yeah, let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> so um, the beautiful verse this morning that I felt led to write down was John, th uh, John 7. And 37, it says, in the last day, that great day of the feast. Oh, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. My apologies. That's not the beautiful verse. I mean, the whole, <laughs> that's not the verse I meant to read. So my apologies. Um, the verse I meant to read was Revelations 22 and 1. Um, it says, the, uh, the angel showed me the river of the water of life. Bright as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess that was beautiful to me to imagine um, this bright crystal water flowing from a throne um, and everything like that. So... <laughs> But let me get to this verse that I was getting ready to read a minute ago. And it's John 7 and 37. It says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me as the scripture <laughs> has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water so if i just take those first two verses there it's like you know we we had this beautiful description of the water just flowing from the throne of god not even directly not say directly from him i mean you know obviously everything's him, but i'm just saying like it says the throne of god so it's this water is flowing from the throne of god and then jesus makes this announcement um at the feast like hey anybody thirsty come and um basically partake in this in this living water and it and it shall flow and whoever does that this living water shall flow from their bellies um I'm gonna keep going <laughs> Jeremiah 2 and 13 it says for my people have committed two evils they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters and hewed out cisterns for themselves, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Um, there's a few things that stood out to me in this verse this morning. Um, uh, one of them was that um I was reminded of something I listened to yesterday, um, and it was talking about um the tree of life versus the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and whatnot, and um, you know how basically um Adam and Eve they instead of basically basking in what God had already done and whatnot um, and provided for them. Um, they took it upon themselves to um, try to 
do things for themselves. Um, and it this reminded me, I mean, this verse reminded me of that when it says, um, do, 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 that again, it's, it says here, they have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns for themselves. Um, now, to be honest, like when I first started the word cisterns, I was thinking uh, like toilet. Um, but when I actually looked up the definition, it seems as if it was like, a, I guess, like a hole that holds rainwater. Um, I don't know if it was specifically... It, it did mention, the definition did mention something about the flushing um, system. Uh, but obviously in those, in biblical days, I mean, you know, there was no flushing toilet. So um, I did go a little bit deeper to like get a better understanding of what the cistern might, might have been like back then. Um, but regardless, uh, it was pretty clear that you shouldn't be drinking from the cistern water. Um, so regardless, yeah, regardless of, you know, how deep we go with this word cistern and whatnot, um, instead of, you know, getting water from there for ourselves, trying to do it ourselves, all three of these verses I've shared this far is telling us that there's flowing water. It's, <laughs> it's already flowing and available, um, from God, but yet yeah, instead of, um, Again, basking in that, um, we're we're out here trying to you know do it for ourselves, and in the in the midst of that, um, we're gathering from a place that you, that can't hold water. <laughs> it's broken, <laughs> a broken place. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if, if there's some pulp today, I would say that's it, you know, um, pulp that we are bringing on ourselves, you know. Um, but anywho, <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> Revelation 21 and 6, it says, And he said to me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the spring of the, li of the water of life without payment so yeah i mean it, to me it seems like you know this, this is a uh something we don't have to pay for you know um it says hey if you're thirsty i will give this to you um you know it's already done um he's the beginning and the end and everything like that so I mean, hey, man, I, I don't know what you all received from this this morning, but that's what um, came across my heart and mind. And there's plenty more verses in the Go Deeper section uh, to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds uh, if you want to go deeper about this conversation of the fountain of living water. But as for me, that's the juice, y'all. That is the juice this morning. The Bible verse of today is Philippians 4 and 19. It says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, friend. I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. Here at the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at MiracleOfWine.com.